Hey there, Mr. Colby Sharp. I have about five million things to do, so I'm going to set the timer for two minutes for this week's Newbery video. Now, Mr. Sharp, we're here to talk about the winner of the 1969 Newbery Medal, The High King by Lloyd Alexander. Those of you who have been following this challenge closely know that we should be talking about the winner of the 1968 Newbery Medal this week from the mixed-up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. Well, Mr. Sharp, being the nice person who he is, Mr. Sharp, you being the nice person who you, who you are, knew that I was going on a trip trip to Philadelphia for the School Library Journal Summit and then on to New York City to film my From the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler video. So we made some switches. So this week we're going to do 69 and next week we'll go back to 68. So here we go. I now have 1 minute and 22 seconds. The High King is a book that I recommend you prepare for if you are doing the Newbery Challenge. The way you can prepare for it is by reading books one, two, three, and four leading up to book five, which is The High King. I did not do that, and I found myself to be very confused while reading this book. I know you, Colby, had some similar issues. I have a student who's a huge fan of this series, so I went to her and I said, okay, can you give me some pointers, some key points about books one through four to make it easier for me to understand book five? She went into all of these details, which just further confused me. She then said, well, I could write you a book report, and I said, that's okay. I greatly appreciate your help. I told her that if I were to redo this challenge, as I just said, that I would have read books one through four throughout. Now, I feel I can't judge this book properly because of not having read books one through four, but I know that Tom Engelberger and Jennifer Holm love this book and highly recommend it. I enjoyed the writing style and the characters, but I missed out on so much because of having not read the first four books. I now have 12 seconds, Mr. Sharp. So down here in this box are all sorts of books, and in this bag, and over here that I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to quickly talk about Unspoken by Henry Cole. This, Mr. Sharp, 